You're watching Vinyl at Puma Gaming. Since 1997, there have been at least eight Fallout games that have been released across a wide variety of devices. The first four games were published by Interplay and are Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout Tactics, and Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. The four most recent games were published by Bethesda and consist of Fallout 3, New Vegas, Fallout Shelter, and Fallout 4. However, the early to mid-2000s were kind of a strange time for the Fallout franchise. Fallout 1 and 2 were fairly popular games when they first released, however, tactics didn't sell well and Fallout Brotherhood of Steel was poorly received to say the least. A lot of Fallout games were planned, however, many of them were never released or got cut at the very last minute. So today, I'd like to go over some of the cancelled Fallout games with you guys and arbitrarily rank them based on how interesting I think that they might have been. Before we start, there are several cancelled Fallout games that existed in various states of development. Before we get into the main ones, I'm going to discuss two that were ultimately proposed, however, it doesn't really appear that any serious work ever occurred on them. In fact, there isn't really a whole lot of information on these games, so the information that I might have here could be totally inaccurate. Uh, now, the first cancelled Fallout game appears to have been proposed for the original PlayStation and was supposed to be a top-down shooter type game. Uh, in all likelihood, this may have been something like Hotline Miami, except it would have been themed around Fallout. And according to the Fallout Wiki, this game only existed in the very early prototype stages and was cancelled after about three to four months of its development. The second game is a cancelled Fallout game for the iPhone. Now, again, according to the Fallout Wiki, supposedly several developers had pitched Fallout iPhone games to Bethesda from some point in 2007 to June 2009. Uh, John Carmack, formerly of id Software and now with Oculus, made a proof of concept for a Fallout iPhone game, however, nothing seems to have come from that project. However, as we all know, we did eventually get an official Fallout iPhone game from Bethesda called Fallout Shelter that was then released on Android a couple months later before Fallout 4 came out. Now with these particular games out of the way, let's go on to the titles that we do know a fair amount about. So I mentioned it earlier, but there is actually a Fallout game that was released in 2004 for the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox called Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Now this particular game had some interesting aspects since the game takes place in Texas, and you play through the game as an initiate of the Brotherhood of Steel. Oddly, one of the player characters is a ghoul, while the other two characters are both human male and a human female. Now, this game didn't really get good reviews and currently holds a 64 on Metacritic based on the reviews of 31 critics. The user score is currently at 4.0 as of making this particular video. Now, out of all of the officially released Fallout games, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel is often considered to be the worst of the bunch, so if there is one Fallout game that Bethesda and Interplay want you to forget about, it's definitely going to be Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. One of the cancelled Fallout games that we're going to be talking about today is essentially a sequel for Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, which was going to be cleverly titled Fallout Brotherhood of Steel 2. Now, the story goes that this particular game's development cycle started slightly before the original Fallout Brotherhood of Steel released, and apparently it was almost complete when Interplay Entertainment decided to lay off a bunch of employees in 2004. Uh, what's really fascinating about this particular game is that a design document for the game was leaked online and features a fair amount of information about it. Uh, according to the document, it appears that Brotherhood of Steel 2 was going to be a PlayStation 2 exclusive game that would reuse the exact same engine that was used to create the very first Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. The document also discusses how the plot was supposed to play out, what the playable characters would be, and who the antagonists of the game were. It also goes over things like weapons, armor, as well as some new features that didn't appear in the very first Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. It's hard to say how good this particular game would have been since the first game in the Brotherhood of Steel series is widely regarded as being terrible. However, based on what we can infer from the design document, it seems like this particular game might have been a little bit better. Uh, what I definitely do like is that 
all of the characters are human this time because the Brotherhood in all of the Fallout games would have never accepted a ghoul like they did in the previous game. Uh, it does appear that the writer for the design document had intended on this particular game to be much more true to the original Fallout games. Uh, when comparing Brotherhood of Steel 2 to the previous games, the document says, and I quote, most experiences for the player are getting a major overhaul. In fact, most of the quest structure and character structure is going back to what made the original Fallout fun. What I will say is based on how little of the document I've read, Brotherhood of Steel 2 could have been better than the first game. However, I think the stigma of the first Brotherhood of Steel game may have me doubting whether this game would actually be good or not. So if I did have to pick a cancel game that I was the least interested in, it's definitely going to be this one. Okay, so this next game isn't really of huge interest to me. However, there was going to be a Fallout MMO called Fallout Online that was supposed to be released for the PC. Now, supposedly, there were several attempts to make a Fallout Online. However, the one we will be discussing is the game that was developed by Interplay and Masthead Studios. Supposedly, this project was going to involve some of the original Fallout's creators, and it was first conceptualized before the rights to the Fallout IP were sold to Bethesda in April 2007. Now, Bethesda ultimately allowed Interplay to continue developing the game under a few conditions. Development for Fallout Online had to begin within 24 months after Bethesda officially owned the Fallout IP in 2007, and additionally, Interplay had to secure $30 million within the two-year time frame, or they would forfeit their rights to the Fallout MMO. Two years later, Bethesda entered a legal battle with Interplay, and this legal battle concluded in 2012 and resulted in Bethesda purchasing the rights to the Fallout MMO as a part of a settlement. Additionally, Interplay would also maintain the rights to sell Fallout 1, 2, and Tactics until December 31st, 2013. Now, Fallout Online ultimately became Project V13 and transitioned from being an MMO into a post-apocalyptic strategy RPG. However, this particular version and iteration of Fallout Online or Project V13 has been in development hell since late 2012. I guess a lot of people really like MMOs, however, they're just not for me personally, so I couldn't say whether this would have been an absolutely amazing game or not. Though, I will say around maybe 2009-2011, um, a lot of people were probably really into MMOs at that point, and were probably really, like, super hyped for a Fallout Online MMO, especially following the success of Bethesda's Fallout 3. Sadly, we seem to know more about the legal battles surrounding this particular game than what would actually have been in it. Um, it seems more likely that this MMO would have probably been like popular MMOs at the time, so maybe something like World of Warcraft or Guild Wars, except it would have been in the Fallout universe or with a Fallout... Uh, coat of paint, so to speak. Maybe it would have been a first-person shooter, maybe it would have been a third-person shooter, who knows. Okay, so there was another Fallout console game that was supposed to come out called Fallout Extreme. This game was supposed to release for the original Xbox and PlayStation 2, and was supposed to be a squad-based first- and third-person tactical game. Um, I guess, for some frame of reference, uh, this game was supposed to be more like Fallout Tactics. However, it's worth mentioning that Tactics is more like XCOM than your standard first-person shooter. Um, what we know is that the game was in development at some time in the year 2000. However, the game never really got past the early conceptual stages, and all the devs knew was what kind of story they wanted to have and what engine they wanted to make it in. With that said, the story for Fallout Extreme is kind of interesting. The Brotherhood of Steel have become these enclave-like figures, and they've managed to take over a significant portion of the United States, even into parts of Alaska. And as you might expect, the Brotherhood basically wipe out any ghoul and super mutant in sight. Um, now, 
in this game, you play as a group of revolutionaries known as the Cause, and you would go throughout post-war America reclaiming various parts of the United States. And after finally beating the Brotherhood, it's revealed that the Brotherhood was gearing up to go to China to attack the Chinese over the Doomsday Missile, which was estimated to destroy whatever was left of post-war America. In the game's final areas, you would travel around in Russia, Mongolia, and you would even end up in the Forbidden City where you fight the Chinese Emperor. Now I don't know about you, but that sounds really interesting to me since you get to go to places not just across the United States, but you would have also have gotten to go to a foreign country for the very first time in a Fallout game. In my opinion, Fallout Extreme sounds a lot more interesting than what Fallout Brotherhood of Steel ultimately turned out being. And if you ask me, it's probably one of those situations where Interplay had to choose between Fallout Extreme and the shitty Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. But again, I'm ranking this game higher because the locations you would have gotten to travel to may have actually been pretty awesome and it would be cool to go to China in a Fallout game. Now, to go along, I guess, with Fallout Extreme, there was going to be another tactical game that was supposed to come out and be called Fallout Tactics 2, which, as you might guess, was going to be the direct sequel to the original game. Um, unfortunately, this game was cancelled due to the low sales of Fallout Tactics. Honestly, I think that sucks, because Fallout Tactics 2 was going to take place in southeastern parts of the U.S., possibly around Florida, and maybe even in the Gulf region as well. The story premise for this game is sort of like Fallout Extremes in the sense that the Brotherhood are the antagonists. However, the conflict wasn't supposed to be humans fighting for scraps in the post-apocalyptic wasteland and was instead more about dealing with the wildlife in the region. Uh, this is because a Gek happened to get irradiated and produced a bunch of mutated plants and animals. So, for example, you would encounter something like a giant mutant crocodile or maybe think about something like the Gator Claws that you see in Fallout 4's Nuka World DLC. Sadly, there isn't really a whole lot else we know about this particular game. Because Fallout Tactics didn't sell well, Interplay must have stopped development fairly quickly. And it's really a shame because it would have been nice to know what has happened to that part of the United States. And hopefully Fallout New Orleans or whatever the next Fallout game will be will elaborate on that for us. Okay, so our highest ranked cancelled Fallout game is Fallout 3. Well, sort of. Now, for those of you that don't know, there are actually two Fallout 3s. Of course, there is the one that officially released, which is the game by Bethesda. However, Fallout 3, also known as Fallout 3 Van Buren, was going to be Interplay and Black Isle Studios' true sequel to Fallout 2. Unfortunately, the game was cancelled in 2003, and the development staff at Black Isle were laid off. The engine that game used was almost complete, and tech demos online show the player traversing various environments. However, what was kind of neat was that the developers had planned on introducing a combat system that would allow the player to choose between real-time combat and turn-based combat. Now, Oddly, the game was relatively complete before it was cancelled. Uh, apparently, 95% of the engine was completed, and you could create characters, you could use skills, and you could engage in combat. Um, now, I'll leave a link in the description, but there are videos of people playing the Fallout 3 Van Buren tech demo online if you're curious to see what it's like. The game was supposed to take place in the American Southwest, in 2253, approximately 12 years after Fallout 2. And at the beginning of the game, you would awaken a prison cell and you are able to escape to explore the world. Um, as you travel, you discover that a mad scientist has concocted an evil plan to launch a ballistic orbital nuclear missile to wipe out everybody on the planet. I think this ranks as the most interesting cancelled Fallout game because I think if it was released, Bethesda's Fallout 3 would have never happened. Uh, perhaps Bethesda may have eventually acquired the license, however it's unclear what the popularity of Fallout would be if Van Buren was actually completed and released. 
I also think Van Buren's cancellation marked the ensuing mediocrity of some of the Fallout games that would be published by Interplay. After all, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel didn't get canceled and ultimately released a year after Fallout 3 Van Buren was canceled. Who knows what today would have been like if Fallout 3 Van Buren had come out. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like and let me know what is your favorite canceled Fallout game. Leave it in the comments. Otherwise, like this video if you liked it. Click the bell to join the notification squad. And as always, take care, and I'll see you all next time.